I'm pretty, I have a pretty good ear for people in their accents, so you totally took me by surprise to find out that you were actually British. So that just speaks to how well you actually did um, on, in your part as Apollo. Um, but my question is, um, do you have do you have any hints or do you have any thing that you can share that can help other people to maybe adapt to another language? And also, would you have preferred to be able to kept your accent uh, like James did? Uh, no, absolutely not. I, I was desperate not to not to be British. I think. Um, <laughs> for a very cynical reason. If I could pull off being an American, then I would get more opportunities to play other roles um, as an American. So uh, I was very, very keen to, 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 to be American, to be perceived as an American, and not even to the point where I thought about doing cast interviews in an American accent. Um, I didn't because I like, just felt a bit of a fraud. Um, doing that, and I know a lot of actors stay in character all day long. I did an episode of House recently with um, Hugh Laurie, and, and Hugh stays, you know, keeps his accent going all day long, um, which was a bit surreal for me because I was, you know, I know him very well from his comedy uh, in the UK, and he was a hero of mine as a kid. And we're talking away about London. I used to sh share a flat with his niece, and um, uh, weirdly, and so we're talking about her, and he's talking in this house accent. So it was, it was, and I was talking like me, playing American on the show and going into it and out of it. So people do, people have different techniques. Eddie tried desperately to get me to stay in the accent for six months. <laughs> um, you know, you gotta stay inside it. <laughs> I stayed inside it for about a day, and I felt like such a dick. Um, <laughs> You know, going to the groceries store, and I just felt like I've always felt like someone's going to discover me. And even I, I find it hard to turn it on and off in, in everyday situations, but um, but not on set for some reason. I, I actually, uh, and it got easier as I went along. I mean, I can hear mistakes uh, in, in the miniseries in particular when I hear it back. I, 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 I did slip up, but um, uh, it's something that I love to do. I, I'm, I'm a linguist, I lived in France as a kid, and I think my ear got open that way that kids do when they're very young. If you expose a kid to a foreign language, you know, my dad's from Detroit, so, you know, he, he talks in an American accent, I listen to it all my life. Is there any tips I can give for people? Uh, I just think it's one of those facilities that if you're an adult and you've, you're either hardwired by them to be able to do it or not, and, it, and you know, voice coaching can go only so far, uh, and it's very technical with, with dialect coaches, you know, they, they, they do a lot of phonetics and they'll teach you how to pronounce each word and you might be able to get that word right. But when, you, when you're released into, the, into a, an acting scene and it's meant to be completely uh, unconscious, um, you know, it comes out and I think some people can do it and some people can't. I think you can teach kids to do it, but um, I don't think you can really teach an adult to do it unless it's by rote and very, very technical. It's easier to do that in a movie because then you know all your dialogue before you go into it. You can learn every single line, you get every single line taped. But on the TV show, it's just impossible because it's things coming at you all the time. But uh, I appreciate that, the compliment. And I want to ask real quick, Jimmy, um, why is it that English actors can do American accents so much easier than Americans can do English accents? Well, I, I think it's because. Uh, I do think that's true, um, but I think it's because it's, it's like if you go to, to Northern Europe and you talk to a Belgian person and they can speak four languages and they speak English impeccably. Uh, a lot of Danes are like that, Northern Europeans are just used to having to deal with lots of different languages and I think you, you guys live in such a huge country which has been a one language country for a very, it's changing actually, I mean a lot of it, Spanish is now so, you know, so, so widely spoken here. I don't think it's changing, but as, as Brits, we're, we're terrible at languages compared to other Europeans, but the one thing that we are exposed to from birth is a lot of American culture, in, in, in a way that you guys weren't quite, um, until quite recently, that now American TV is much more multicultural and multinational than it used to be. Uh, but I just think we, we, we grew up with it. We're, we're, we're exposed to it from a very young age. All our, um, a lot of kids' shows are American accents, cartoons, and stuff like that, and it's just being exposed to it.